Are your parents forcing you to apply to medicine? Are you brown? Then this video is for you. Welcome, my name is Farhad. I'm a junior doctor working in London. Let's talk about writing personal statements for medicine. I've helped a few people with their personal statements over the last 10 years or so, so I thought, let's make a video. Now here's what you probably already know. You've got 4,000 characters and 47 lines to tell the bored person reading that you're unique, empathetic, compassionate, and all those good things. Now there's gonna be about 20,000 of you or so trying to say that. Most of you are gonna get the grades, will have done all the work experience that you need to, and will have ticked all the boxes. So the way to stand out is gonna be through your unique perspective and all your reflections that you've done during your work experience placements. Now you can structure your personal statement however you want. There's no right way. But for those who have no idea where to begin, this is what I'd recommend. In your first section, what you want to talk about is your motivation to do medicine. Obviously, don't say that your parents blackmailed you into applying. Now, it may have been an experience, an event, something that happened in your life. That's, you should talk about that. You should say why it made you want to do it. If you've done a degree beforehand, you should say where it fell short. What was it about that degree that actually didn't fulfill you and made you want to do medicine instead? And what was your previous degree not giving you? You're going to want to convey that you know that medicine involves using all that scientific knowledge, communicating and applying it to people. Here you're going to want to talk about all your work experience. When you're doing your work experience and you've seen something, try and take notes immediately after or as soon as you can. If you're unable to write something down, just use a voice note on your phone. As soon as you've done that and you come back and look at it when you're writing your personal statement, certain themes will stick out and then you can talk about those. When you're actually reflecting on this at the time, try and put in as much detail and describe what was going on. What did you see? Who was communicating? Was it a doctor and a patient? Was it a doctor and another doctor? What was the interaction about? Was there a particular interaction between a doctor and a patient you really liked? Was there something you didn't like? How did everything make you feel? Was there a confrontation? How did that confrontation make you feel? What did you learn from it? Is there something you would have done differently? There's so much you can talk about here. This is where you'll find some kind of unique perspective that will make you stand out from all the other candidates. In the next section, you want to talk about what makes you amazing. Your achievements, your extracurricular work, any sports that you play, any charity work that you do while volunteering. You want to show that you're a rounded person and not some loser with no life making YouTube videos. Finish off your personal statement with a nice short conclusion. You want to get across that you know what it takes to study medicine, the lifelong learning, the academic commitments, the emotional demands, all that good stuff. Once you've written everything and are now well over the word limit, you want it to stand out as a literature piece. Get lots of different people to read it. If you're in school, get an English teacher to read it and make it better. People from medical backgrounds, anyone who you think will add value. If English isn't your first language, you can try free apps like Grammarly that can help. Unfortunately, this video is not sponsored by Grammarly because I have about 10 subs. I think I started writing mine around about this time, having done my first year of A-levels. I think this is a good time to start. The sooner you start, the better. The more people you can get to read it, the more time it will have to mature and the more it will stand out as a piece of literature. And there we go. I hope that was helpful. Like and subscribe if you thought it was. I've actually got some example personal statements that I can share. So comment if you think that's something that you'd be interested in. I'll see you in the next video.